Welcome to Ram Center, the source for all your Rice Rams highlights. I'm Ryan McKenna, and alongside me is Don Luce-Chishin. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, Ryan, you've upgraded your tie game up to uh, real man's tie. We've upgraded our set yes. for the week. I was going to mention that. Be the beautiful backdrop of Mattamy Home Ice behind us, and actually, funny enough, because there was a couple of hockey games on the schedule this past weekend. The men's team, Dom, looking to clinch a playoff berth, mm -hmm. while the ladies, they were closing out their season. We'll start our coverage from Mattamy Home Ice with the men's hockey Rams taking on the 10th place Laurier Golden Hawks. Laurier, they take an early tripping call here in this one. Greg Lamoureux, he's going to go to the box, maybe a couple chirps to the ref. We're not quite sure. Rams power play operating at 25.2% on the season, which is fifth in the CIS. They can't capitalize here. Almost halfway through the first now. Victor Terreri, he gets in on the action, his seventh of the season. Rams up 1-0. To the bench with Big hit right here from Tyler McCarthy player, on Laurier's best player, Derek Schoenmakers, and Mitch Gland, Charlottetown PEI NATO gives it a little velvet underground face wash right there. Schoenmakers, he would later return to this one. Michael Fine now, line of Fine, Wise, and Alberga great all season long. Fine will put it behind the net to Alberga, in front to Wise, who taps it home, and we have a 2 nothing hockey game. Some more rough stuff. Dominic Alberga, bit of a hit from behind right there, a bit of a scramble ensues as well. And now we're at it. Ryerson's end of the ice, Matt Brown and Taylor Dandria. They give a little give and go right here, gets tipped off his stick in front. 2 1 hockey game. Third period action. How about a Slapper right here from Brian Burkoff goes off McCormick's leg. He's in some pain. That one's got to hurt. Now 3-1 with under a minute left. Laurier would pressure as they get one behind Troy Pazikam to make it a 3-2 hockey game. Laurier, they would call a timeout, but they only dress five, 12 guys sorry, in this one. And their guys were gassed by the end of the game. Ryerson takes the game 3-2. And with the win, they improved to 16-10 and 10 on the year and clinch a playoff spot for the third straight season. Troy Pascam, he picked up his first win in four games by making 19 saves. The Rams play a morning game on Wednesday against the Toronto Varsity Blues at 11.30 a.m. Women's hockey now. Last game of the season for the Rams and also the last CIS game for team captain Nella Burdett. An emotional one for her. She had 19 points in her CIS career. She's honored pre-game. Our very own Ryan McKenna worked the cameras in this one. Rams taking on the fourth place Queens Gales, and you honestly couldn't write a better start than this one. Just 29 seconds in, with a scramble in front of the net, Brodette whacks the loose puck into the net. That's her fifth of the season. She beats Dodd Moyer. Rams take an early 1-0 lead. That'd be short-lived, though. Just three minutes later, Bissoff takes a shot from the point. Griffin tips it and then buries her own rebound. Her 13th ties it up. Still in the first, the Alicia Seely comes off the bench and, wake up Ryan, what are you doing? Seely snipes at top scores. corner for her third of the year, Just we don't really see it. Queens takes a 2-1 lead. Then, with two minutes to go, friend of the show, Ronsberg, sets up Victoria Archie on the partial breakaway. Archie goes 5-hole and makes no mistake, while good old Ronzi trips into the boards. Archie's second the season, ties the game at 2. Moving on to the second now, and Crawley, she comes up huge. 17 stops in the period, including this beauty on the power play. The Rams would kill off two Queens penalties in the second to keep the game tied going into the third. Now, early in the third, Ronsberg grabs the loose puck, goes to the front, goes backhand, barred down, but the ref waves it off. Ronzi tries to get the ref to go upstairs. They were having none of that, mostly because they don't do that in this league. Just shortly after, Bissoff takes a shot from the point. McKellar drives the net hard. She gets the rebound. Queens takes a 3-2 lead off McKellar's 10th. Head coach Pierre Alain would call a timeout late in the game, but with four seconds left, Queens would seal the deal as Ryan once again falls asleep on the job. Queens takes this one 4-2. Megan Farrell gets the goal. No affiliation to Comedian Will. A phenomenal game for Nella Brodette and a great way to end her career as a Ram. A final salute from a much improved Rams squad. It's just the third year for the Ryerson women's hockey program. They finished the year 5-18-1, a step up from their record last year, which was 2-23-1. Crawley had a huge game, stopping 37 of 40 shots. For more on women's hockey, we go to who else but Ryan McKenna. It's the end of an era. Ryerson's women's hockey has only been around for three seasons, 
but Nella Burdett has captained the last two. Today, Burdett played her last game as a Ram, ending her CIS career. Honestly, like, I have no words for it. Being a Ram and just finishing off my career this way is bittersweet, and um, I've had the honor of leading this team for the last two years, and I couldn't have asked for a better bunch of girls and better staff and a better facility. You know, to say that I ended my career under the Maple Leaf Gardens with uh, my last game is, I don't think of many people can say that, including some of the Leafs, right? So um, it's, it's been an honor to play here, and I've, I've enjoyed every second of it, and I'm going to miss it for sure. Despite a 4-2 loss against the Queen's Gales, Burdett went out on top. Just 29 seconds into the game, Burdett found the back of the net for her fifth goal of the year. Honestly, that, that was a surreal moment. You know, I stepped on the ice knowing, you know, seeing my, my parents there and um, just hearing that spiel about me, it's, it gets to the heart. And, you know, I, I was there in the first face-off and I remember it going in our end being like, we need to change this. Like, I'm not starting the game this way. And ended up being in their end in a loose puck and I just banged away. And uh, I remember going to the bench, just a huge smile on my face and just kind of like, what is life right now? Is this, this is an ESPN special or something. So I uh, know it was pretty cool. and. Um, you know, we just couldn't come out with the win, but I think that uh, it was a really good game for us. I'm very happy she scored the first goal. She's like, I told her on the bench, that's destiny, Nella. <laughs> so every time there's a senior going away, we're, we're at, like, our, our eyes are crying, but yeah, we, we try. I think she, she worked hard. She helped that program. She's part of it. Like, she's, she wrote history for this program. Despite not winning a game in 2014, the Ryerson Rams still finished their 2013-2014 OUA season with five wins, which is a school high. Now, despite that, they're still looking to improve and get better for the 2014-2015 season. For the Ryerson Rams Network, I'm Ryan McKenna. Well, it's certainly nice to see that I actually did something productive on the broadcast. So moving on to basketball now, last weekend Ryerson was at home taking on number one Carleton and number two Ottawa, two games that were very close for the Rams and they were looking to build off that momentum as they traveled to Algoma and Laurentian last weekend. Start off well for Ryerson on Friday night, a big 86-65 win over the Algoma Thunderbirds. The Rams had scored Algoma by a couple of touchdowns in the third quarter despite being outscored in both the second and fourth quarters. Last year's male rookie of the year at Ryerson, Juwan Greenham, had a team high 17, while Ronaldo Karnacki, he had a game high 19. Different story the next night when the Rams traveled to Sudbury. Laurentian chasing Ryerson in the standings in the OUA East, and they caught the Rams off guard in this one. A fairly close game throughout, but Laurentian, they picked up the dub 82 to 69. Alex Rade, one of the best scorers in the country, had a game high 28, while Jamal Jones logged 35 minutes and picked up 26. Will be still tough for Laurentian to catch Ryerson in the standings. They face Carlton and Ottawa this weekend on the road. Rams are four points up with a record of 12, 14 and six, and sitting pretty in third place. Taking it over to women's basketball, the Rams had an absolutely dominant weekend. They beat the last place Algoma Thunderbirds on Friday, 74 to 31. They had more than twice as many points. An absolutely crushing victory with the Rams putting up their best offensive and defensive showings of the season. Getchkova led the way with 18 points as Ryerson cruises to an easy one. The next game would see Ryerson visiting Laurentian to take on the Lady V's. Bit of a tougher game, Ryerson takes this one 71-61 to improve to 8-12 on the season. It's their third straight victory, and with the win, the Rams would clinch a playoff spot. Kanika Giles led the team with 18, while Sokolov had 17. But how about Emma Deklo on Laurentian, though? Eight, 28 points on the night. Big game for her, but she couldn't do it all for the Lady V's as they fall to 4-16. and 16. Moving on over to some volleyball action, both the men's and women's teams split their decisions last weekend, but finished strong with a win. They're hoping to keep that momentum going on a road trip to Kingston. In men's volleyball action, Ryerson was in Kingston on Friday to take on the last place RMC Paladins. They would win the game three sets to one. A huge team effort as six Rams had seven kills or more. Reardon led the team with nine. Will Auden, he came in with 12 digs to lead the team. The next game though, would be a much tougher challenge. It's the last game of the season for the Rams and this one wasn't pretty. 
Rams playing a hungry Queens Gales, fighting for a playoff spot. They would lose all three sets. The first set was a heartbreaker, losing 28 to 26, but the next two weren't even close. Lucas Coleman had a team high 10 kills, while Mike Tomlinson had 14 for Queens. The Rams finished the season in fifth and will face the York Lions in the playoffs. Women Rams also in Kingston this past weekend. They took their first game over RMC, three sets to one. Kelowna BC native Veronica Livingston seems to have found her groove right before the playoffs. 17 kills in this one, a big defensive game as there were almost 200 kills combined between the two teams. Lauren Ebenhardt, she saw her first action since January the 12th and had 33 assists for 1,005 in her career. And how about a little weekend sweep for the Rams? It was a close one against Queens as the Gales took them to five sets. Bryson pulled through though in the fifth set, 15 to 13. Rookie Christine Yan, she had a game high 18.5 points, while Emily Nicolition, she was just smoking the ball on Saturday, game high 17 kills for her. Rams will play the first place Toronto Varsity Blues on the road, AKA just up the street. It's now time for my probably favorite segment on the show. It's the play of the week, and although there were only two home games this past weekend, still lots to choose from. For the play of the week, how about Victoria Archie, the pride of Woodbridge, Ontario. She goes in all alone, dangles, and puts one through the five hole of Dodd Moyer. Let's slide to the left. Reverse, reverse. Thank you, content producer Steve. Archie in all alone. She puts it on. Ryan, what was that? This isn't a junior high dance. Hey, nothing like a good old dance. Hey, and Archie, she is a beauty as well. Well, can't say no to that. Uh, also, apologies for our uh, background noise. Yeah, we updated our visuals. The audio, not so much. Some, uh, some guys clean the ice, make sure Madame Ice is fresh and clean. Fresh. As always, stay locked to RyersonRams.ca for all your highlight needs. Uh, I'm Ryan McKenna for Dom Luce Chishin. Thanks for tuning in to Ram Center. So long now. <laughs>